Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a TBR video and we're sitting in front of my bookshelf because I'm going to be picking my TBR in this video. I have two books that I know that I want to put on my TBR for June and July but I want to pick a couple more. I want to think I think I want to have six books in the end as my TBR for the next two months. I hope to get to read more than six books in the next two months but as things go, I usually read less than I set out for myself, so I'm trying to set myself self up for success by picking not that many books, and also a mix of bigger books and smaller books. But first, I finished reading this book, finally. It only took me almost two months uh, to read this book, and um, I wasn't mightily impressed. It had a happy ending, which I was very thankful about because th this was quite a dark book. Um, and some really violent things happen throughout the course of the story. And I want to read more of Edna O'Brien's works, even though I didn't enjoy this one, because I've heard that she narrates two of her other, or some of her other books, um, as audiobooks. So I might try and find some of her other books um, as audiobooks, because she narrates them herself and listen to them that way and maybe I'll enjoy them better. Yeah, I think I gave this one a two star rating. So it's not, if I think it's my le my lowest rated book so far this year. So there's that. <clears throat> but now we can get on to the TBR portion of this video. The first book on my TBR is Whose Body by Dorothy L. Sayers. I've been meaning to get to this book for a while. And when I finished the red, the little red chairs, I decided it's finally time to get to Who's Body. Um, it's quite a short book, so I'm hoping to get through it fairly quickly. And also I think I'm going to really enjoy this because it's the kind of genre that I really like. So that's the first book on my TBR. And then there's a bunch of uh, books on a pile here, which I recently hauled, all these books. Um, and then a couple of videos ago also I asked you guys to help me pick a book to read from one, five of the oldest books on my bookshelf. So five of the books that I've had on my bookshelf for the longest. And they were, if I'm remembering correctly, they were The Night Circus. Um, can't, can't remember the rest. The Night Circus. Uh, 101 Ways to Go Zero Waste. Z, a novel of Zelda Fitzgerald. Um, what's this thing called? <laughs> Last Exit to Brooklyn, and I don't remember what the fifth one was. Unsurprisingly, The Night Circus won. I was expecting it to win, to be honest, because it is a very popular book. So this is also going on my TBR, thanks to you guys who <laughs> picked this book for me. Um, I've been meaning to read this book for at least five years now, probably six at this point, um, so I'm glad I'm getting around to it finally. That's the second book on my TBR. And then on this pile of books that I recently hold, the one that I'm really, really excited to get to is Nightwood by Juna Barnes. Um, I've never, I'd never heard of Juna Barnes before, before I saw this book at the bookshop, and it looked really interesting, so I picked it up. And I've since learned a little bit more about Juna Barnes. And she seems like she was a really interesting woman. So that I also want to put on my TBR. And get to hopefully soon. Because, yeah, I really think I'm going to enjoy this book. I really am hoping, I said this in my haul video as well, but I really am hoping that her writing style and her sort of stories that she tells are similar to Evelyn Wall because I really really like his writing style and his wit and his stories so from the cover and from what I've read it seems like it might be something similar just with American characters as opposed to British characters but I'm very excited to get to this one so that's next on my TBR what did I see just now that I thought I wanted to get to is it this one I think I'm gonna add this to my TBR as well. So far I only have fiction books on here, which is fine, because realistically I do have a lot more fiction than I have non-fiction. But I'm going to add 
At certain points we touch by Lauren John Joseph to the TBR as well. Um, I really don't know what this book is about, but the, the, the title grabbed me. And so I really just picked this book up because of the title to be honest, and I know, I really don't actually know what in what the story is about at all. So I'm going into this book completely blind, and I will let you know how I feel about it once I've finished it. So that's four books on my TBR. I have space for two more, I think. Um, <laughs> do I want to start reading The Secret History? Maybe I should. Maybe I feel like The Secret History is a good book to read in winter time because it is kind of dark academia. It is dark academia. And in the winter time there's a it's a, it's dark for a lot more of the day than it is. Well, it's not really in South Africa. We still get a decent amount of daylight hours. Um but it does the sun does set earlier and it rises later. So maybe in those dark hours, I will take it upon myself to finally start reading The Secret History. I think that is a good idea. So, <laughs> that's going on my book, on my bookshelf, no, on my TBR. So now I've got two quite short books and three longer books, The Secret History being the longest of them all, I think. Um, what else do I want to read? So I've got, I've got two classics, well, technically the Secret History is also a classic. Um, and two more modern-ish books. Do you know what? Honestly, I'm going to do myself a favour. And by the end of reading all these really thick books, I will be probably quite tired of reading a lot. So I will need something short and sweet to just reinvigorate me. And I think I'm going to read one of my Penguin Modern editions. And I think I'm going to go for Gertrude Stein's Food. I've heard that it's a really interesting, uh, well, that she has a really interesting writing style. And that it's really strange uh, little, well, I don't even know if you could call them essays. They could, they, you could probably rather call them prose. And that also a lot of people don't like her writing style. And I've never read anything by Gertrude Stein. So I think I'm going to try this one out and see how I feel about it. And then I might pick up something else by her if I do end up enjoying this one. Um, yeah. So those are six books now, but this book is really, really short. So maybe I want to add another one. But maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> maybe I should just... Maybe I should add some poetry to my list. I think that's a good idea. And I think I'm going to... Hmm. I think I'm going to go for Felicity by Mary Oliver. Because I've been wanting to read Mary Oliver's poetry for a while. And... I think I'm going to like her poetry, so I'm adding this one to the list, my seventh book, even though I said I was only going to pick six, but these two are quite short and I think I'll get through them fairly quickly, so we're going to do that. Wow, there's really not much colour on this stack of books this month, or for the, the next two months, but also I'm really excited about all of these books, which is great for me because I haven't been excited to read for probably the past two months while I was reading this one here. So this is my TBR for the foreseeable future for the next two months. And maybe if I finish these books before then, I'll be able to read more, but I'm not going to pressure myself. I also know that this is a really thick book and probably quite heavy and um, I'm not going to read it quickly probably. So I'm not putting pressure on myself to finish all of these books in the six in the six months. No, <laughs> in the next two months. But I would like to get through most of them. But anyway, those are my seven books for the next two months. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for coming on this journey through my bookshelf with me once again. And I will see you all again next week with another video. And hopefully I will have some reading updates for you in the near future.